Are you tired of constantly being bullied on Zill? Are you trying to get better but end up getting killed by something like this? But well, guess what guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks to help you put a stop to this bullying if you guys are being bullied on Zo. Um, if you guys are newer to the game, I'll suggest you guys go ahead and watch my simple tips and tricks. The link is, of that is going to be in the description down below. But um, if you guys do notice by my voice, I'm a little sick right now. Um, I got a cold, but that's not going to stop me off my grind guys. The grind is not going to stop, alright? <laughs> Alright, so uh, with all that being said, I am quite excited for this video and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some tips and with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this. guys so let's go ahead and start off with the first tip that we have here so the first tip is all right guys so the first tip i have for you guys here is evading also before we go ahead and get into this tip um shout out to Vaz for helping me with this video by um obviously helping me with this one v one by showing you guys this but um back to topic here so what evading is let's say if somebody perfect blocks you as you guys know whenever you get perfect block you get stunned for a second or two and you can't swing or uh block with your weapon so during that second or two most people kill you but what if i told you you could survive that so you could survive this by um as soon as you get a perfect block you could jump backwards so as you guys could see right now um, this guy perfect blocks me and then well, as soon as he perfect blocks me I jump backwards dodging his attack so here we are in a uh, public server now and as you guys could see um, whenever I do hop on a public server a lot of people just recognize me and ask me for 1v1s and just try to kill me so it is quite hard to record on my main account now so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop on my alt and then um, record this part in alt so what I'm gonna be basically showing you guys is what evading looks like in a real like public server in like a proper situation so as you guys could see whenever i do get perfect blocked i just jump backwards that's that's personally what i do because whenever i jump backwards it lets me escape um them killing me when i am stunned so as you guys could see i just got perfect block right there and as you guys saw i just moved backwards and um you like i said you could do this by uh, numbers of ways you could either dash away or jump backwards um either works but personally i i like jumping backwards more because it's just like um, just something I'm more, more I'm more used to, so that's what I personally do. Um, as you guys saw right now, I just did it again. So evading is pretty easy. All you have to do is just like kind of get used to it. So the more you get used to evading, the easier it gets over time. So obviously, uh, like I said, there's two ways of doing it, which is dashing backwards or um, jumping backwards. So either works. Um, I would personally suggest between jumping because it's just easier to do. You just hit your space bar and you're out of there. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's pretty much it for evading. Like I said, the more you practice it the more you're gonna get better at it and um let's go ahead and uh, move on to the second tip here guys so this is number tip number one which is evading now let's go ahead and move on to the second one the next step we have here is movement so if you guys don't know what movement is movement is basically just like how you move um i know that sounds simple but um that's pretty much it like that's all that's all there is to it so as you guys can see like the way i am moving right now is just like personally when i what my movement is is i like moving around a lot like i like being around my opponent and uh, confusing them and just like just moving around a lot because like the more like personally what i found is like the more you move around it confuses your opponent and um, they kind of get confused on where you're gonna attack from and then like that i just use that towards my advantage whenever i do play so as you guys can see like i am moving around a lot and my opponent doesn't know what i'm gonna strike so um what i personally do is i just move around a lot move around my character i get behind them like i just move around like crazy man so that's what i personally do and um everybody has their own movement like like i said like i you just kind of like develop it as you play the game you're gonna see yourself moving in like different ways and jumping in different ways and like strafing and stuff like that so it just kind of does come to you or you guys could go ahead and not uh, kind of like take mine if you want so what i personally do is just i just move around a lot i run on um, my i unequip my weapon as much as i can in 1v1 and i just try to be fast man i always have the speed towards my advantage that's what i always try to do and um that's that so let's go ahead and move on to the next tip guys the next tip we have here is baiting so um what i mean by baiting is like you want your opponent to come to you basically so like as you guys can see right now 
um I, I always wait for my opponent to come to me before i go to them and as you guys saw like i waited for him to attack me and as he attacked me i perfect blocked him and then i killed him so that's what baiting pretty much is it's like you want them to come to you rather than you going to them it's, it's a pretty good strategy um i do use it in 1v1 sometimes like if you are trying to play more passive um this tip is definitely for you so make sure you guys know how to bait properly though because like the most popular way um people do bait though is looking for like a perfect block kind of bait and that's kind of what i do as well so um i bait people and then once they come up to me i perfect block and then i go for the kill guys i'm gonna go ahead and bait this guy there you go as you guys saw um, I baited him with my perfect block and then I just killed him. Obviously, this works in 1v1s as well. Let's say you're in a 1v1 situation. Um, you just let the guy come to you, man. And then you just try to go for the perfect block bait. And that's pretty much it. And uh, as you guys saw, like I, I'm basically just standing here go, going for, for baits, man. So that's pretty much it. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And um, I'm back on my main now. And as you guys can see, I, I think I got recognized. Floaty Sum. Who, bro, who's Floaty Sum, man? I think, uh, is this guy, are, are you having trouble with autocorrect, man? Floaty Dunn. <laughs> Come on, bro. I know you can do it, bro. Spell it correctly. Floaty, okay, there you go, man. Alright. Um, but like I was saying, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you for coming to class today. And yes, this is going to be on the test. 